Hey guys, what's up? Fuller here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a widget to create a low pass filter with MetaSounds using control buses and control bus mixes. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to create just a few assets here. The first one, we're going to make a MetaSound, and I am using the third person uh, template for. Unreal Engine 5.3, we're going to create a wave player. This is a simple part, and we're just going to make this a stereo wave. Uh, we're going to make this a stereo meta sound. I'm going to come out here, I'm going to go left, right, and we're going to select the music, starter music that comes with Unreal Engine, and it sounds like this. All right, we're going to make that loop. Perfect. Okay, so. Our meta sound is created. Pretty simple. Let's move on to phase two. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to create, now real quickly, I do have a more extended version of audio modulation, control bus mixes and all that stuff. I'll link that in the video. You can go check that out if you wanna end up walk through, but this is kinda like assuming you already know some of the stuff. If, if you get lost, feel free to go back, check out some of my other videos. Um, with audio modulation, we also do want to make sure that our project has the modulation plugin activated, which mine does. If yours doesn't, just activate that and restart your engine. So with audio modulation, we need to first create a control bus. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to audio modulation control bus. We're going to call the CB LPF for low pass filter. What a low pass filter is basically is it just lets through low end. So what you're really doing is you're cutting high end out and you're starting all the way at 20,000 and you're cutting more and more and more so you're losing high end as you cut it. So we're going to let the low energy pass through. So we're going to create a control bus low pass filter. What kind of parameter are we going to use? We're going to go down here and use one of our built in parameters, LP cutoff frequency. Okay, that's all we need to do for that. The next thing we need to do is create a control bus mix. A control bus mix is basically a snapshot of all the values for these because we're gonna to have to activate that. So we're gonna right click audio mix, oh, I'm sorry, audio modulation control bus mix. So we're gonna call that CBM and let's call this low pass filter main, okay? Now inside here, we're gonna double click on here and we're gonna add that control bus that we just made as a mix stage. So it will appear here now. If you haven't made the control bus yet, this will be blank. You can also go up here and click control new, uh, create new asset and make a control bus. So we're gonna click on that. And here, uh, just so you know, this setting right here, 20,000. So this is the starting value of the low pass filter, which at this point means it's gonna let everything up to 20,000 pass through, which is the entire frequency spectrum. Generally in audio, the human hearing, the human hearing is 20 hertz, the super low end sub, under that you're not gonna be able to hear it, and then 20,000 above that is like a dog whistle. You're not gonna be able to hear that. So um, if you look in the documentation, uh, documentation of Unreal Engine, you want to create, when you create these control bus mixes, this is the normalized value, 0, which is 20 hertz, to 1, which is 20,000 hertz. We're going to leave this at 1 for now because when we activate this mix, we don't really want to hear any difference. Okay, so we're just going to save that for now. So we've created the control bus uh, for the low pass filter and the control bus mix. Now, now that we have these two things here, we are going to go into our meta sound and we're going to go under our um, sources. We're going to click on this little source gear and we're going to come down here under modulation. We're going to expand this window and right here under low pass routing, we're going to click on union and we're going to click modulate. Okay, that's going to give us a low pass modulator. Now we're going to add an array here of the low pass filter control bus. Okay, so and essentially what we're doing now is what we're doing is we're saying any value that changes to this low pass filter, we want it to affect the low pass modulator on this meta sound. So let's just listen real quick to what that would do. Let's move this. So we're gonna simulate this modulation right here. So now you hear almost nothing. These are pretty drastic changes right here. Bring in a little high end. 
So essentially that's, and if you notice here, this is a very logarithmic effect, because once you get up to about 10,000, your ear is, it's almost indistinguishable between 10 and 20,000. Listen to the difference here. Not much difference, but listen to the difference between 20 and like 200, 600. Massive difference. So the ear perceives it differently. So this is a logarithmic value. Um, so now we know that the control bus is gonna work. Let's save that. We're done with the MetaSound. Let's close that out. Okay. Now, the fun part. We are going to, um, actually, you know what? First thing I wanna do is, let's go into the, uh, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna drag this meta sound into the level and hit play. Okay, that works. You always wanna test every little thing you do so you can find your problem before you get lost. Okay, so now we've got our meta sound in here. What I wanna do is I wanna open up the level blueprint and here's what I wanna do. Um, I want to activate Control bus mix. And which one? The only one we've created. Control bus mix LPF main. Okay, so now when we hit play, that mix is going to activate. Now, our mix isn't doing anything yet because remember, we left our cutoff frequency at full 20,000. But if I change this and then I hit play, you'll hear the, or let's put this at like 250. Now you're going to hear the low pass filter kick in when I hit start. There you go, see? And if I move this, it's modulating that value. So we know it's working, and again, every step of the way I'm gonna test this out, make sure I didn't do something wrong. So, so far so good. We've got the meta sound in there, we've got the, the filter hooked up, so now we activate that control bus mix. So now, we have a static mix that we can recall. But what I want to do is I want to create a widget now so that on screen I can control that. And uh, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to user interface widget blueprint. Okay, so now we're getting into blueprinting here, which is important. Um, we're going to call this WLPF. That's our widget name. Let me, um, so with, uh, with MetaSounds, you, you know, you really want to get good at using blueprints anyway. So this is a, a little blueprint tutorial as well. So we're going to click on the, double click on the widget. Here we have it open a uh, uh, blank widget. Now I'm gonna do this real fast because widgets is a whole nother world. But I'm gonna show you an easy way to just make a knob. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a canvas panel. We're gonna pull this down here, and what this does is this gives us a canvas to put stuff on. Then Unreal has done us a favor by creating some, basically some templates for audio knobs. The one we want is audio frequency radial slider, and so we're just gonna drag that down here. And then there it is. Now I want to resize the heck out of this and put it about right here. Okay. So right now we just created the widget. Let me show you how to activate that. If I hit play now, nothing happens. What I want to do is I want to go back in here on our level blueprint and on begin play, I'm going to come out here and I want to create widget. Okay. What widget? Well, the only one we have right now, which is W low pass filter. Now this is gonna create the widget, and then I want to what's called add to the viewport. So we're gonna add the widget to the viewport, then we're gonna activate the control bus mix. Now, when I go hit play, we're gonna see a huge knob come up. Now it's over here to the left because I'm not in full screen. If you wanna see it, how it's actually gonna be in game, you can go here, and then there it is. But this actually works out pretty good for us right now, so I'm just gonna leave it over here to the left. Now you see over here the 20, 20 hertz, boom, there it is. Now, it's not doing anything yet. Our final step is to hook this up to our control bus so that we can control it, okay? All right, and you know, another interesting thing I wanna show you real quick, this knob, if you look at this right here, 20, look how slow it is up to 200. We're like, a, a third of the way through the wheel and we're only at 200 and then the next third goes all the way to 2000 and then from here to here is another 18,000 so here to here is 18,000 but here to here is only 200 why is that well remember earlier I talked about how the low pass filter your ear hears things kind of logarithmic so that's what this is compensating for which is really cool about this design so we're actually coming in here and we're slowly taking our time to get up to where our ear really hears the difference. But then once we get around here, our ear can barely distinguish it. So it just jumps from 
3,000 to 20,000 real quick. And that's actually the effect that we want. So thanks to the Epic Games guys for um, building that in, and gals for building that in. So let's go over here. Now our last step is to hook this widget up so that it can control our volume, our, our low pass filter. And the way we do this is we wanna come out here and we wanna to go to our widget, we wanna click on this button and then we're gonna scroll all the way down here and we're gonna click on value change. And so what this does is this creates an event in our widget that basically allows us to change, every time that knob moves, it changes the value and the value reports here. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna promote, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna promote this to a variable and we're gonna call this, uh, let's just call this frequency. Oops, frequency. Oh, by the way, if you're in your widget and you try to click this on value change thing down here and it's not here, make sure that this is a variable. If it's not, it won't give you that option. Okay, so now we're setting the frequency when we move that. Now, how do we know that? So let's go back over here to our third person map. And then what I'm gonna do is from this widget node right here, I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna say um, frequency, I'm gonna type frequency and you'll see here, get frequency. So what this is going to do is this is actually going to get that value that's being changed. And what I want to do is I'm going to on event tick here and I don't usually use event tick, but for this, it's okay. We're going to print a string because I want to see this value and I'm just going to pull this over here. And now every tick, it's going to show me what that value is. So let's go back over here to our level and hit play zero. Watch this. Boom. Okay. How cool is that? So now we're getting that value getting that value on the screen. But what we wanna do is we wanna send that value to our control bus. And this is the final step of how we do this. So how do we get this value to feed our control bus mix right here? And this is how you do it. This is the final step. And this is actually the part that most people miss or can't figure out because it's a little bit tricky. So we're done with our widget. Let me close this out. We're done uh, with our control bus mix. Now, when we go back over here, we want to pull this up. And now I've already activated this mix, but now I want to assign that float value from my widget to just that low pass filter. And the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pull this off here and I'm gonna pull off this node right here. It is called set control bus mix by filter. And we are going to, which one? We're gonna, this control bus, the one that we've activated here, that's the one that we wanna set it in. But what is this address filter? I talked about this in one of my other videos, but this address filter, if we open up this control bus, you will see under this low pass uh, filter, you have this mix address, okay? Address to use when applying mix changes. Boom, CB underscore LPF. So that's the address I wanna put in here, CB underscore LPF, and it has to be exact or it won't work. Now, if um, you don't do this, you'll hear nothing. So now that knob is going to, um, well, the knob's not gonna do anything until we get the value. So we're gonna come out of here, this frequency value, which is the knob value, we're gonna plug it in here. So now that value is actually gonna change the low pass filter cutoff. So when I compile this and I hit play, we should hear a difference when we move that fader. Let's check it out, fingers crossed. Okay, so now, the filter kicked in right away because it's already getting that value. But watch this. There we go. Now you hear the filter opening up. And there you go. And we can actually get rid of this print string because we don't need it anymore. And we're doing that on event tick because we want to update it constantly. Boom. Okay, so when we initially start the control bus mix, we have this value at 20,000. 
And so when we start it, it starts at 20,000, but the knob starts at 20. So as soon as we move the knob, it goes all the way down. So we wanna actually start this at 20. So we're gonna make it so that when we hit play, and you'll hear it, we default to the high pass filter, the low pass filter being completely um, closed. And so that will smooth this out. So now we are starting the level at 20 hertz cutoff and we are moving the knob to open the filter. And so that's just like a little nuance. You could fix that another way. You could change the knob so it starts on 20,000 if you want. Um, but I just did it to that. And you can hear this kind of filter effect here as we kind of sweep the, as we sweep the frequencies as kind of a wah-wah effect. That's kind of what a wah-wah pedal does. It just sweeps the frequency really fast with your foot. So we just basically created a wah-wah filter for a low pass filter. Anyway, so that's just like a little quirk, but um, you can set up your knobs however you want to default. If, you're def if your knob defaults to zero, then you're gonna wanna set the control bus mix to zero. If the knob defaults to one, then you're gonna set it at one. That way when you activate the control bus mix, it's already where the knob is. You could also feed that another way if you wanna get complicated, but I wanted to keep this tutorial kinda short. So anyways, I hope that this information was helpful and inspiring. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Hey, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments section if you like, if you have any ideas for future videos. Plus, I just like to interact with you all. So thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.